Hey guys, Patriot back for another desktop review. Uh, as you can tell by the title, this is Countycom's new Meritac Solid Copper uh, AAA Anyhow, light. I have opened this, but I put it back together so you can kind of see how they package these. It's a little bit different than the uh, tube style that these other lights came in. But they've got it in a little plastic, uh, kind of looks about the same size as one of those old VHS uh, mini, mini VHS tapes. Uh, not sure, but that's about what size these are. Uh, they've got it foil wrapped. Uh, supposedly that uh, keeps the uh, the copper from tarnishing and uh, or from scratching there. And uh, here is the light. Great looking little light. It's actually uh, a little bit more shiny and a little bit more polished than I had anticipated from the pictures that I've seen online. But uh, it really looks great. It says Meritac uh, up here, and it just says CU, or the uh, abbreviation for the uh, periodic tables there for copper. And the uh, light's got good weight to it. Uh, feels like it's close in weight to the stainless steel version. I don't have my scale out. I guess I should have. I always forget to do that. Uh, this light did come with a little spare kit, the typical uh, Meritac AAA flashlight uh, owner's card here. And it came with a little spares kit. In this kit, I have the black, I've got a couple of black pocket clips in here, and I've got two of those. I'm not sure if all lights will be coming with this, but uh, it would be great if they did. And I've got a couple of uh, O-rings here for the head. And something that's really cool, if all of the uh, the flashlights are indeed coming this way now is I've got a couple of these uh, key ring attachment points now I've never actually broken one of these and you'll see in some of my videos I actually test the strength of these and measure them on an electronic scale but I know that other people have had trouble with these and have uh, sometimes broken or snapped one of these off well you'll be glad to know that uh, it looks like they may be shipping with a uh, the one on the light here and a couple of spares as well so really nice touch there County Com. thank you appreciate that okay before I forget to do it I thought I thought I'd show a couple of uh, close-ups or macros here of the light hopefully that's uh, this is focusing okay I'm actually short some light in here today hopefully uh, the colors working all right but yeah, it's very, very nicely polished. Reminds me a lot of the uh, electro-polished stainless steel. You can see that it says Meritac CU on there. And everything's nice and gleaming. I imagine after a while the copper will probably take on a little bit of a, a patina. Uh, but right now it's uh, bright and shiny and brand new. Uh, here's the reflector on it. It does have a very slight... well. Actually, it's got kind of a medium orange peel to it, similar to what the others had. Uh, you'll see one of my first Meritax kind of had a frosted reflector to it, uh, whereas this one and my stainless steel versions have more of an orange peel to them, which I like. It does, uh, it does seem to throw a little bit further and keeps the beam a little bit tighter, which is nice. Now, as you'll recall with the older flashlights, the older AAA versions, I should say, the uh, user interface was uh, a three-mode sequence of medium, then low, then high. And I'll demonstrate that really quickly here. We start off at medium, turn it off and back on, gives you low, off and back on again, gives you high. When they released the AA version, they actually changed the sequence uh, upon uh, user request. I think that was mostly candle power forums. Uh, they change the mode to low medium high and uh, one of the things about this new light or the big uh, feature on this is that's the mode that they've chosen to uh, bring over to this one as well so when I first turn this on it goes to low mode if I turn it off and back on it goes to medium and if I go off and back on again it goes to high so um, I really didn't have a problem with the old user interface sequence I actually like the medium low high since I typically use medium, but uh, that's fine. Uh, I think about three quarters of the people actually prefer uh, this new sequence and uh, that's fine with me. 
So I'm not that picky about it either way, actually. And then one of the other features that the uh, flashlight junkies are absolutely going to love is the improved pulse width modulation, or PWM. Uh, as you can see, the new light has a much improved pulse width modulation. You can see the uh, cyclic rate of the, the two original lights, and the, uh, the newest copper light uh, has the improved pulse width modulation and a much higher frequency. Uh, so in use, you're not going to get that strobing effect that you got with the earlier versions. Of course, that is also carried over or passed on from the uh, AA version, which has that improved pulse width modulation as well. You can see both, I think, are the same speed looking here at the viewfinder. Yeah, they appear to be the same, uh, same uh, modulation there, or the same frequency. So, uh, kudos to Countycom and Meritac. They really, uh, really got this light right. Well, I think for now we'll uh, get off the desktop here and go check the uh, relative output of these three lights just to see if this one's uh, kind of in the same neighborhood as the others. Okay, let's go ahead and do a very unscientific light meter reading here. Obviously, this uh, isn't real exact or anything, but I just want to see how it compares with the uh, other two models that I have with me right now. Uh, so let's give it a quick shot. Start with number one there. We're about 43 when I first turned it on. We're running on a 1044 uh, battery right now, which uh, is not recommended. If you want your light to be warranty, do not run it on a 10440. Uh, I've been doing running that battery on my lights for a while now and uh, haven't run into any problems, but uh, I also realize that if I do have a problem, it's not warranty, so don't run these batteries in here if you want to warranty your light. All right, let's go to number two. We'll go to the stainless steel version. right about 37 when I first turned it on. All of these batteries are above 90% oh, or so. Alright, and let's try the newest one. And that one's about uh, 26. I'm going to go ahead and swap batteries. Maybe, uh, maybe the battery I've got in there isn't as uh, fresh as I thought. Now this one's staying about 27. So uh, this one's running at a little bit less current possibly than uh, than the other two. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it throws real well. It's got a real tight beam and excellent color. So let's go ahead and take some temperature readings now. Okay, let's t take a few uh, quick temperature readings. and we're about 75 across the board there. And let's go ahead and turn all of these on high. And the copper light is on the far end, steel in the middle, and uh, aluminum over on this side. Okay, this one's up to 84, 85, 87. The steel is down at 78 still. Copper is at 76, 77. 102. 81. And 78. Okay, I did shut off the camera for a minute, and we're back to them again. The aluminum is 123. Stainless steel is 87. And the copper light is... 82, 83. Not quite sure what was going on there with the, uh, the copper light. 
uh, why the temperatures were not higher. I'm guessing just because it was uh, uh, the output's lower on, on this particular light as shown in my uh, my Lux test there. On there, actually, I, I really don't care. It just means that the battery's going to run longer on this particular version. Maybe they uh, reduced the current a little bit there to boost the runtime. I did notice on their website that that didn't actually change, that the uh, specifications are still the, uh, the same at uh, 1.5 lumens for 50 hours. 18 lumens for 4 hours and 80 lumens for 48 minutes. So judging from that, they didn't uh, change the current. All right, guys, we'll uh, check back with this one in uh, in a month or so and see how, see how she's doing. That's it for now. Patriot out.